Over here, I have the school's soft copy of the worksheet. The students have it in hard copy as well, but um, being in primary school, if they write the answers in their worksheet, it can be quite troublesome for them to send me a photo, for me to mark, and then provide a feedback, finally returning it to them. So what I will do is that I'm going to place the questions from this worksheet into um, SLS so that they can complete on a quiz mode for me to mark, provide feedback, and return to them. So on SLS, you need to create a new lesson and then using the custom template so that you'll be able to add a quiz. So I'm going to pause the video first to fill up all these details of the lesson. All right, so I fill up the details. So just one tip as well to always bring the lesson text so that if you need to uh, look for materials for um, another lesson, you can actually easily retrieve it because you have tagged the lesson with the topic for what you're doing here now. So now we're going to add an activity, add quiz, create new. So here, if you want to be able to uh, mark, provide feedback and return it to the student, you have to choose feedback given after teacher has marked. So let me quickly complete this first. Okay, so from here, now you can add any type of questions. So the first one I have for my worksheet is a fill in the blanks. Okay, so now I'm going to pause the video to type the questions here. Alright, so over here, I've typed the questions and the answers. For fill in the blanks, you can have more than one answers. Uh, just need to type the first answer, press enter, followed by the second answer. So over here, the help moves in the table. You can actually also add a border by clicking table properties and then type in black over here. Okay, so then you can add feedback to explain to the students why the um, answers are as such. Um, after uh, one returning, they can actually view and then they get it wrong. You can see why the answer is wrong based on the feedback given here. All right, so earlier we had done the question text. So here we are going to conveniently click on copy text from lesson. So that's um, and for your subsequent lesson, you can actually retrieve the questions easily by searching it using the topics you have selected here. So now that we've done the first question, let's move on to the second question. So the second question over here, all right, it looks like a fill in the blanks, but I'm going to use free response so that I can demonstrate to you how to use the pre-populated student's response. So on the free response, Okay, and then here I have a diagram. So I'll just use the snipping tool. And I'm going to snip along with the text so that I don't have to type later on. Okay, and then over here. Okay, so what I mean by pre-populate students' response, if you can see over here, all right, there's a guide for uh, P, Q, and students just need to fill in the uh, blank over here. So what I'm going to do under the pre-populate student response, I will type P and Q in this manner. So students will view it like this. All right, so they just then need to type what is P, and what is Q for the answer, okay? So you can also adjust the picture if it's too big by dragging it over here. Right, then again, copy text from lesson. You can type in the suggested answer. Students will only be able to view it after it's been written to them. Okay. Then now to the third question. So the third question is a multi-part because there's part A, part B, and part C. So here I do multi-part. What goes here would be the question stem itself. So I use the snipping tool again. And I will again snip along the text. All right, so do not include the questions, only the question stem in the diagram.
So I will now add it as an image over here. Okay, so now that we have the question stem over here, we can add the question. So let me just this. Yes. So the questions for my worksheet over here is uh, in open-ended. All right, so I will choose the free response. Create new. So the first question I have, I'll just copy it over. So it will automatically appear as a part A for the students. All right, so how it will appear for the students? You see part, part A, part B, and part C. So here, now I will pause the video to type the remaining question for part B and part C. Okay, so here I am done with the multi-part question. All right, click add. So with this, I've added all the questions for my worksheet to SLS. All right, I can click add. And then save. Now let's see how it look like for the students. So the students will click to complete their topical worksheet as a quiz. All right, they just, uh, first part is in the blank, they just need to type the answer. So they can actually move on to the next segment uh, without answering or leaving, or without answering or by having the previous questions blank. Okay, so the pre-populated, they can type their answer. Okay, and then here as well. Now, so what happened is that if students had left some questions blank, okay, like over here, they had a uh, student did not complete the previous segment here, all right, and then here. So assuming I say students are careless, leaving some questions blank, leaving some segments blank, when they click submit, it's actually be prompted. All right, so here students can actually click cancel and then complete those segment and all the questions. So for demonstration, I just show, okay, I just click okay. What will appear for the students when they're done is in this manner. Okay, so after that, I will uh, mark, provide feedback. And then once I click return to the students, we can give instructions for students then to come back to this worksheet, to click on view results, and that's where they'll be able to view their results as well as the feedback given for their questions. So that is all on how to uh, convert your worksheet into quiz format in SLS.